Hi guys, so today my dad and I are going to be installing my new backup camera. My dad got it for me as a gift for my birthday. So that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, Colette's gonna pull the wheel off. The spare, should be easy. Everybody knows how to pull a spare off. So, just come on, line it up, please. So we got everything out for the camera. Came with some zip ties, some wire splicers, two connectors for the back of the radio, depending on what radio you have. I believe we'll use the one with the center. Um, the camera, a bunch of cable. So we're just gonna mount the camera to the bracket here with two provided Phillips screws, um, and then we'll mount it to the Jeep. We're putting this on here so Claire don't hit nothing. <laughs> she hasn't hit nothing yet, so you know, this is just more insurance. And it's a fun winter project. It's, I think, three degrees outside right now. It's about 55 degrees in the garage. So, nothing to do outside today. All right. So we're gonna mount this here. And the spare tire is gonna hold it on. To me, I got some washers from another one that I'm gonna put on there to hold that in place for her. So that'll hold that on when we take the spare tire off and that type of stuff. <clears throat> so we're gonna run the wire through this grommet here. A lot of people run it through the vent flaps, but we're gonna drill a hole in this grommet and we're gonna shove this connector through there if it comes apart. Just like that. So we're just gonna route it through the spare tire here, like so. I think we'll get a zip tie, put a zip tie here to hold this. We're gonna supply our own zip tie for this. They came with some little white ones. So I think that's good. So I'm gonna drill a hole through this grommet with the drill. Um, and then we're gonna cut this back so it ends right there where it goes in. Um, so let me find the drill and get to that. So we're just getting the length we want. And we're gonna carefully cut this because we don't wanna cut the wires underneath there like so So we're just going to pull this plug out like so. Got a little hole in there. And we're, so I'm just going to make it a little bigger. 
like so. We worked it through, it's nice and tight in the grommet. We're just gonna pull it up to the end, like so. We're gonna have to pull the back of the tailgate apart real quick um, to get that through there. So we'll come around here. We'll pop the clips out. Just like so. We're going to have to pull these out and put these back on the uh, Plastic. Looks like I did break those, but they should be okay. Should they? Yeah. Be alright. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and come up through this hole here with the uh, cord cable. I got a little hook going through here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just going to grab the cable. I can't see. Can you <laughs> there you go. Come over here. You can see it come up. Beautiful. I'm just going to pull the cable up like that. there come over the other side and put the um, grommet back in if I can get it so that's the cable going to the inside So then we got to take off the inside of the Jeep, run the cable up to the front. Um, I think we're going to hook everything up first before we run all the wires underneath everything to make sure everything works. All right, so we pulled the rear cover off. Uh, there, you got to pull the plastic off around the uh, seat belt. To pull the seat belt thing out and then there's one bolt here, a uh, 10 millimeter you got to unscrew and that all comes off. I'm gonna zip tie up the wires going in. Now where it comes through the tailgate. See how that looks. I'm going to put some more on there later. We'll go ahead and snap the cover back on. Nice. All right. So that's that. And then we'll just continue running the wires along the top, down the side, down next to the sills up to the front of the Jeep. Just some B-roll, just a little, sounds like you dropped something. So we're just pulling the dash out to get the plug in for the radio. Okay. There's all kinds of videos. I pull the vents and then going back, push this out. Just clips in and I unplug it. 
you gotta release this. Take out the switch. There's a screw here, two screws under the steering column once you pull the panel off, and then a screw on the top after you pull out the plastic cover. These are all seven millimeters. When the dash comes out. Oh wow. I am just like so. Having a bit. Stick that in the back. Oh, Be nice to it. On there. Then we're gonna pull four screws out of the radio. So the radio will slide out here now, like so. Oh Lord. And we're gonna plug in a plug in the back um, after we run the cord up. Collect and show you. How we ran the cord down the side, we're gonna have to run it up underneath, up under here, up to the radio. And we're gonna do that now. Carpet. I'm going to pull the carpet up, come across, just like so, here's my handy dandy little gripper, click and push the button. I'm just going to grab a hold of it, let it go, and then slowly pull it up. All right. Let it loose. Got it. Mm -hmm. So we have the video. To the radio. I'm just gonna tuck it and put the carpet back. Is it it? So that's it. And we're gonna run this up around the back. Plug it into the radio, make sure everything works. Uh, then we can put my car back together. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice, considering. Yeah. We're gonna route it behind where the radio goes. Up here, like so. Hey, there it is. kind of between the two vents up there. We have the adapter for the radio. It's gonna plug into the center right here. I hope. You and me both. Yay! All right. <clears throat> We're gonna plug this guy in. Can you hold the radio for me? Mm-hmm, sure. One of my eight hands. Mm -hmm. So we do have this extra. I think I'm gonna loop this up right here. Like so. Stick it in behind the dash. Got Stick it. Stick the radio back in. Like that.
and this is where the cable comes right now. So that's that. Now we're gonna hook up the power wire, ground and power in the back, and make sure everything works when we put it in reverse. Well, that still turns on, so that's a good sign. Yep. So we didn't unplug the radio, we didn't unhook any power anywhere, so all everything's still the same in the Jeep. And we'll have to program the Jeep to know there's a backup camera, and we'll do that with the J-Scan, and we'll show you when we do that. So we have a J-Scan app that we use. We have a little USB V-Gate iCar Pro that we got off Amazon to do our programming on our other Jeeps and such. I'm just gonna plug this in. It's gonna light up. We're gonna pick JK. Let's go into radio and camera settings. All right, we're gonna go to rear camera. We're gonna click on there. And when it says deactivated, we're gonna say activate. Done. Go. It says it successfully was done. All right. We're just gonna leave it on there for a minute. We're gonna go ahead and put it in reverse. And we don't have any video. So you can see that it's working or not. So we're gonna try the other plug that came with the unit. And so we had the wrong cable. So we swapped hey. out the cables and now we got video. Yay! Just like that. Just like that.